I just received my pre-order of my Assassin's Creed 4 McFarlane toy cosplay prop. And uh, just like my order for the NECA replica, I actually ordered it specifically for this piece here so I can use this with another costume. And then it comes with this little skull guy too, a nice little free bonus. But unlike the NACA replica, I would say that I'm a little underwhelmed with this particular one. Uh, I really like the look of it, and I think I may very well actually design my own with a two-tiered blade on it, just to give me, you know, the more traditional longer blade. But because of the material they've chosen to use for this blade, it's the same as the NACA replica, but they've used more of it because it's a single blade, and it's not internally supported anywhere. It tends to droop pretty badly uh, when you're wearing it as a cosplay prop, and so for me, uh, I wouldn't really be happy with that in photos, and I'm sure a lot of other people might feel the same way. Uh, I think it may be possible to uh, maybe dremel out a little bit of room here because there's a channel in there, and maybe, you know, embed a little piece of hard plastic or even like a, a piece of coat hanger in there or something just to support this, and then that way you still have the safety tip, but it's not going to droop over this very short distance. But... Uh, Generally, that's kind of my, my thoughts on this particular design. I really, again, I really love this sculpt and really like how it looks. I'm just, I just might need to do some mods here uh, on the end to make it work for a nice cosplay prop. But as many people probably uh, have asked in the past and maybe asking right now, is it possible to modify it so you don't have to hit a button to operate it? And the answer is yes. Here's my ring and there it goes. Transition! All you need to do is you flip this guy over and you see that there's four screws that hold on this rubber part. I've already removed those screws. So if you take those guys off, you can take off the rubber piece. And then you're left with this piece, which will have one, two, three, four, and five, and six screws. Uh, you'll need to remove all of these. And make sure you remove them with the blade extended, otherwise it's going to fire out when you uh, take off the screws. And then when you pop this apart, you'll kind of have to work it apart a little bit. But once you get it apart, there's a handful of bits, and I got a couple over here. You have the spring, you have a lock system, you have the, the super, super flibbly blade, and you have the bottom and the top housings. And then what you need to do is, using a paper clip or a very small uh, drill bit, you need to drill two holes. The easiest one to drill is right here. It's between these two holes here, right in the center. And I actually drilled it slightly at an angle, just to let the uh, cable go through here more smoothly. And the last one, you have to drill and see if I can get a, a good shot of this. You need to drill through this piece here, and then you simply tie your knot, you can see, there. And you tie your knot through, and that way, when you pull down, this works, and yet, you still have room for this to come in and hook over. So once you have your knot tied off here and then you run it back and out through your hole, you can reassemble everything and it's pretty simple. Simply click your two housings back together and then here in the back, take this lock piece, pry this guy open a little bit and then put it in so that this little tooth is pointing towards the bottom of the device. And you just kind of got to just squeeze it in there and it just helps a little bit to have it pre-assembled that way this you know, this is easier to get in. And then all you need to do is take your screwdriver and start putting in some of your screws. Put, that, put in these, these back two to hold down your, the lock you've just put in. So pull like that. And then with, with the, these front four removed, go ahead and just pry this guy open a little bit and then try to nicely uh, thread your spring right back down the middle and get it seated back where it needs to be. And then take your blade and make sure that the little tooth on it, the, the catch, is pointing towards the bottom. Put that in there, pry it between the two, and make sure you set your spring so everything's good. And then flip it back over and I'll reinstall four of your, your wee screws here. So with all four of those screws uh, in place, you can do a test to make sure everything is uh, groovy and working exactly the way you want it. So you can click this guy in. Button still works, which is a, a good first sign. And then the second sign is obviously grab your cable and pull, and it pops open. And then the last thing I did is uh, using just some scissors and a hole punch, I punched a hole in between those holes again to match up with that hole there. And I actually punched two more holes. And the reason why I did that is so I can go ahead and put this guy back on 
and then I cut the channel out uh, with a pair of scissors and this gives the cable a place to run without getting kind of jammed up between these two surfaces or having to run through and getting stuck on the on the meaty part of your arm and so these parts go back on just one right over the other make sure you hook this piece over the back first that helps uh, get this guy assembled properly and then you reinstall your four screws and be careful getting these four screws lined up they, they're not very long and they tend to strip so uh, you know make sure you get everything uh, nicely lined up before you screw them in and you'll see here why I, I, I punched this this last hole I actually cut a little V out as you can see and what that allows me to do is I can actually take the thread pull it through that V like a so up around and through and then what that allows now is uh, I have a little bit better kind of point here where you know this isn't wibbling all the way back to the to here but I can still pull on it just fine and then again, just, just finish up putting your screws in. And again, these, these four screws are actually, uh, I've actually had one of these guys strip out, but it's not a big deal because, you know, it's just holding this kind of cosmetic spacer rubber bit on. Yeah. And so with that, hopefully you can she. This guy locks in, and then when I pull forward, it pops out. And uh, just like I describe in my... Uh, excuse me, in my uh, my NECA modification, all you need to do is, with this guy closed and for God's sakes locked, uh, put it on your arm wherever you're, you feel comfortable, you know, where you want it mounted, and then go ahead and tie your piece of string off to a ring or just a loop, whatever you have lying around, and then all you have to do to activate it is when you pull your hand back, you'll be safe, but if you reach up and grab the extra cable, it'll pop open.